Welcome to Easy to Love Yoga with Shanna. Today we're doing a chair yoga practice. Please have a yoga strap handy as we will be using it during class. If you don't have a yoga strap, remember you can always use a necktie. So let's begin class. Seated forward in our chair, so our glutes are on the chair, hamstrings are off the chair, allowing us to have a 90 degree bend at the knees and feet flat on the floor. Thinking about your posture, sitting nice and tall as you place your hands on your lap. Closing your eyes and taking a moment to notice your breath. When you inhale, you allow the chest to rise and then the belly to rise. Exhaling, allowing the belly to fall and then the chest to fall. So just take a moment to notice your breath. Starting a scan of our body from the crown of our head down to our toes. Noticing any areas you need to be mindful of as we move through this practice today. It could be an old or new injury that's bothering you. Remember to always keep yourself safe during class. If something doesn't feel right, you do not need to do that pose. Please wait for us to move on to the next pose. Starting with our four square breathing practice, inhaling through the nose for four, three, two, one. Retain your breath, four, three, two, one. Exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one. Retain the emptiness. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Retain. Exhale. Retain. Inhale. Retain. Exhale, retain, inhale, retain, exhale, retain, and now returning to your regular breath and just notice, are you breathing deeply? Keeping your eyes closed, lowering your ear to one shoulder, gently stretching the side neck. One more breath here, returning the head to center and now changing sides, stretching the opposite side of the neck. One more breath here, return to center, and this time lifting the chin high as if you were gazing up at the ceiling, stretching the front of the neck. Returning to center, and this time lowering the chin into the chest, stretching the back of the neck. One more breath here, returning to center, gently opening your eyes. Let's roll our shoulders to the back of the room. And rolling now to the front of the room. Releasing any tension you might have in your shoulders. One more roll forward. Beautiful. Now let's bring our arms into a T position. We're going to start small circles forward. Keeping them small and tight circles and gradually making those circles a little larger. A little larger and make nice big circles forward and now making them slightly smaller 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 and back to that small little tight circle let's pause here and let's do that small circle in the opposite direction Make it a little larger, a little larger. Open it up, nice big circles. And making it a little smaller, a little smaller, smaller, and back to 
to starting and just pause there. Let's drop those hands down. Now let's shrug those shoulders up as we inhale and exhale, release the shoulders down. Shrug and inhale, exhale, release. Shrug and inhale, exhale, release. One more. Shrug and inhale, exhale, release. Now we're gonna bring our hands forward, palms facing each other. Take it out to midpoint and then bring those hands behind. Back to midpoint, drawing them forward. Midpoint and behind. Midpoint, draw them forward. This time back so the hands come together. Bring to midpoint and back. Midpoint, forward, midpoint, back, midpoint, forward, midpoint, back. And let's come to midpoint, lower those hands once again, shrug and inhale, exhale, release, shrug and inhale, exhale, release. One more time, shrug and inhale, exhale, release. Now we're just going to bring one hand up to the ceiling and a nice fluid movement. As soon as it reaches the ceiling, we're just going to change sides, flowing from one side to the other in nice smooth movement, looking up through the fingers, overhead at the ceiling, taking your time here, flowing through this movement. Now let's add a slight side bend each time. So starting with a small side bend, and each time your hand comes up, make that a little larger of a side bend, deep in the side bend. Taking your time, flowing through this movement, making that side bend a little deeper each time the hand comes up. Once more in each direction. Nice deep side bend here. And allowing the hands once again down by your side. Shrug and inhale, release and exhale. Shrug and inhale, release and exhale. One last time, shrug and inhale, release and exhale. Now we're gonna sit back in our chair. You're going to need your strap. So take your strap and balance your strap over the thumbs. Allow the fingers to close in over the strap. Starting with that strap in front of the body. Inhale, looking up, and then exhale, bring that strap behind you. Now if that felt really tight in your upper back and shoulders, your shoulder blades, widen your grip on the strap. Inhale, up, exhale, behind. Inhaling, up. Exhaling behind, inhale up, exhale behind, three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and this time we're going to inhale up and we're going to lower to a count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up for a count of ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holding that strap overhead, moving forward in your chair once again. So your glutes are on the chair, hamstrings are off the chair, 90 degree bend at the knees, feet flat on the floor. Gently moving into a side twist, coming back to center and moving in the opposite direction. So as soon as you reach that side twist, slowly start moving back to center in a nice fluid movement from side to side. Remembering to pause in the center before twisting in the opposite direction. Remembering the pause. Two more sets. Last set. Beautiful, keeping that strap overhead. Widen your grip on that strap and allow one hand to lower as the other hand comes overhead. And then changing sides with a fluid movement, almost like a pendulum in a clock moving from side to side smoothly. 
Looking up through the hands, overhead each time at the ceiling. Two more sets. This is the last one. And slowly lower that strap. Now we're going to take the strap and we're going to put it around the sole of one foot. So bringing that strap around the sole of one foot, extend that leg out. I want you to think about contracting in and extending out. Just taking our time, linking up the hips. Contract in, bringing that foot towards the seat of the chair, extend out, always keeping a slight bend in the knee. One more time. Stopping here and bringing both ends of the strap into the same hand as the extended leg. Free hand grabs the chair. I want you to think about your posture sitting nice and tall and let's extend that leg out to the side for an inner thigh and groin stretch. Remembering to keep a slight bend in that knee to protect the joint. Sitting tall, remember to breathe. One more breath here. Let's draw that foot forward, taking that strap halfway and bringing across the opposite knee. Now, if you need to, you can bring the foot on the floor and more forward so it's not quite of an intense stretch on the hips. Otherwise, starting with your foot flex to protect your bent knee, exhale and lower the body towards the legs, feeling a beautiful stretch in the hips. It may feel a little uncomfortable, but there shouldn't be any pain here. If there's any pain here, please rise up from this pose. Remember to keep breathing throughout. Now if it's available to you, lower closer to the legs, intensifying the stretch. One more breath here. And slowly rising up allowing the foot to come down to the ground, strap in both hands, and let's change the foot in the strap. So now the opposite foot is in the strap, picking it up off of the floor, keeping the foot flexed, knee slightly bent, contract in, extend out. Contract and extend. Sitting tall in your chair, remembering to breathe. One more time. Hold that extension, keep that knee slightly bent, both ends of the strap into the same hand as the extended leg, free hand is going to grab the chair, sit nice and tall, and extend out to the side, keeping that slight bend in the knee, inner thigh and groin stretch. One more breath here. So they bring that foot forward, taking that strap halfway. Once again, remember you can bring the lower foot forward to have a less intense stretch in the hip or keep that knee at 90 degrees. Keep the foot flexed to protect the bent knee. Exhale, lower towards the legs. Feeling that nice sensation of a stretch in the hip. Remember to keep breathing. And if it's available to you, lower a little closer to the legs. If it's not, that's okay. Just stay where you are. One more breath here. Slowly rising up. Strap into both hands as you lower that foot to the floor, taking that strap away. Now we're going to place the strap underneath the opposite knee. Give it a twist so it's easier to hold on to. And we're going to hold on to the chair with our free hand. We're going to lift the leg and the strap off of the ground. And we're just going to use the strap to assist us as we rotate externally, just helping support the weight of the leg. So we do this external rotation. Still sitting tall in your chair and breathing deeply. One more rotation. I'd like you to pause here. Now let's rotate internally, drawing that knee inward.
one more rotation inward and allow that foot to come down to the ground removing the strap and placing that strap under the opposite knee giving it a little twist so it's easier to hold onto here using your free hand to grab the under the chair lift the foot off of the ground and we're going to rotate externally still sitting tall One more rotation, I'd like you to pause, and now let's rotate internally, bringing that knee in. One more rotation inward, allowing the foot to come down to the ground, taking the strap away, and you can just allow that strap to rest on the mat now. Beautiful. Now we're going to hold the chair with both hands, lifting one foot off the ground. I'd like you to roll your ankle in one direction. Beautiful. Now let's roll the opposite way. And we're going to turn this now into a point of the toe, flex the foot, point the toe, flex the foot, point, flex, point, flex. One more time, point and flex. Let's place that foot down, lifting the opposite foot off of the ground, rolling the ankle in one direction. Sitting tall and change directions of that roll. Beautiful. Now let's turn that into a point and a flex. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, and one more time. Point flex and let's lower that foot down. Now we're going to take our toes on a diagonal, bringing the feet slightly forward. And we're going to allow our hands to come down our legs all the way to our ankles. And we're just going to hold here for a moment. I want you to think about allowing your back to soften and round, allowing your shoulders to soften and round. So focusing on the low back softening and rounding, the mid back softening, the upper back softening and rounding, and the shoulders softening and rounding. Holding here. Now you're going to hold on to one foot, and you're going to allow the hand to come up to the sky with the other, and slowly rotate back down. And once your hand has reached the foot, rotate the other arm upward, looking up through the fingers, and then rotate back down. Do a nice fluid transition from one side to the other. As soon as the hand lands on the foot, the opposite hand starts to rotate upward. Taking your time with this movement, looking up through the fingers overhead each time. Once more on each side. And then pause when both hands are at the feet. Slowly slide the hands up to the knees. Beautiful. Now I'd like you to drop your elbows down to the knees. And we're going to rotate once again with elbow on one knee, changing sides. Once your elbow lands on the knee, let's change again. Elbow to knee, opposite hand comes to the sky. And doing this in a nice fluid movement. As soon as your elbow is placed on your knee, the other hand can start to rotate upward. Two more rounds. This is the last round. Beautiful, and have your elbows rest on your knees for just a moment. Bring your hands to the knees, slowly rising up. Beautiful, bringing those feet back in. Sitting nice and tall in your chair. We're gonna do a few rounds of cow and cat breath. And so inhaling, bringing those arms up as we look at the ceiling into cow. Exhaling, arching the back to the back of the chair as you bring the arms down into cat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling into cat. Inhaling to cow. Exhaling to cat. 
This time inhale to cow and twist in one side. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow and twist to the other side. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow and twist slow and controlled. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow with a twist. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow, twist. Exhale to cat. Last one. Inhale to cow with a twist. And exhale to cat. Beautiful. Slowly coming up into a seated position. Rolling the shoulders to the back of the room. Rolling the shoulders forward. Shrug, inhale, and release, exhale. Shrug, inhale, release, exhale. Once more, shrug, inhale, release, exhale. This time bringing the arms up overhead, drawing the hands together, lowering them down to heart center. Closing your eyes and taking a moment to notice your breath. Notice if you're breathing deeply. Taking a moment to scan your body, starting at the crown of the head, working down to the toes. Noticing without judgment if there's any change in sensation from the scan you did at the start of class. Focusing once again on your breath. Noticing the energy flowing through your body. Thank you for taking this time to enjoy this mindful movement, sharing your energy with everyone in this practice. I hope you have a fantastic day. Namaste.